Oh, hi. I'm not doing that again. Um, hi, uh, I'm Harrison. Welcome to my closet. Uh, I'm in my closet. And uh, a bunch of people on Instagram, uh, if you haven't followed me yet, check me out on Instagram.com slash Hargus McFargus. I feel like a, like a sellout or something. Uh, welcome to my closet. We're going to do a shoe tour. Um, that's it. I'm just going to talk about all of the shoes and the boots that I have. Uh, and I guess I'll start with my boots. So um, this first pair, uh, this is a pair of Jodhpur boots from Idris uh, in uh, like a crust calf. It is hand burnished, hand painted. It's through that like 3D made to order thing that Bespoke Factory does. Uh, they're storm welted on day night soles. A perfectly serviceable boot. I wear these in the winter time actually. They're actually pretty heavily waxed. Uh, so they're pretty water resistant. So really good in the winter time. I like wearing them in the winter. Um, all right. This is a pair from Imperium in Indonesia. Uh, it is it is a super, super thick black split toe boot in a local leather from Indonesia. Um, I, I got these to, to beat the crap out of and they feel indestructible. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're like, these are badass boots. Um, and one of the reasons why I got them was because I knew that they would be badass. And I mean, they're super comfortable, really, really stiff still. I'm really excited to continue breaking these in. But uh, black split toe boots from Imperium. Go over here. All right, let's go over here. Uh, this is a pair of Viberg cap toe service boots in Tachigi, uh, natural cowhide. Um, it's just a super versatile boot, super comfortable. I love the 2030 last. Uh, see, Viberg since 1931. Uh, it's a classic Viberg model, stitch down construction, day night soles, super comfortable, super versatile. I love this leather. I cannot wait to see how it ages. Cap toe service boot from, uh, from Viberg. All right, sticking with the Viberg train, 2040 last uh, Shinky T-Core horse butt on the 2040. I think I already said 2040, actually. How many times can I say that in this video? Unstructured toe, a little bit of a spring toe on this. Ridgeway soles, I love these things. I just hit myself in the face with the uh, the leather laces. Uh, these boots are freaking awesome. Uh, to break them in, I wore them uh, running a 5K. It was pretty, uh, pretty stupid. I love the texture of this leather. It's awesome. Love horse butt. I'm a I'm a horse butt slut, I guess. <laughs> it's a cool leather. Uh, cannot wait to see how these age as well, but given how many pairs of shoes I have, it takes a while. All right, uh, Colville. Um, split toe boots from Jay Fitzpatrick. Justin Fitzpatrick is a boot-making, shoe-making powerhouse. Uh, these boots are no exception. I mean, just quality-wise, they're fantastic. The leather is great. The construction is great. The pattern is beautiful. I love how elongated this, this shoe looks. It's a super fantastic boot for the winter time. Um, one of the interesting things about this boot actually was when I ordered it, Justin had sent me an email and said, hey, there's some loose grain and some inconsistencies on the pattern pieces, we're remaking it. And I'm like, I don't care, it's a boot. Like I'm gonna beat it up anyway and it's on the shaft that's gonna get covered by a pant anyway. Don't worry about it. So we threw in a free pair of shoe trees. Um, but it's like that level of quality and care that uh, is, is put into all of the J. Fitzpatrick stuff. So uh, Colville boots and like a cognac grain. Love these boots. Super versatile. I mean, most of my... You're going to hear that a lot in this video. Love this blah. Super versatile blah. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a boot. It's a very serviceable, good for upstate New York. Technically Western New York, but who cares? I don't, uh, boot. All right, this is a pair of TLB Mallorca on the Artista line on that City Soul. Customized these with Tony, actually. I wanted a plain toe on a more chiseled last, so we went with the Picasso last. Love these boots, love the little swoop D. Um, inspired by so many amazing boot makers in Spain. Um, not, nothing bad to say about this boot except for the instep, which is a little bit high. I have a low instep, so I have to wear these boots with thick socks, or sometimes I feel like I'm swimming in them in the instep area right over here so love these boots super comfortable quality of the leather is fantastic these city soles are amazing uh tony if you're watching this hi tony uh love love these boots from tlb mallorca on the artista line i think that's the, the 141 all right these are these are chunky boys these are from sagara indonesia hi bagus if you're watching this uh i love these boots uh you're a fantastic guy um, this, this dual tone I'm really excited about because you can see where a lot of the natural veg tan that started off really more of like a white neutral color has aged 
um, and, and how some of the red has has bled through as I've conditioned these boots a little bit. Um, look, these, these boots are, they're indestructible. They're, they've broken in really, really wonderfully. I have nothing bad to say about them. These nitrile soles, these are the cigar brand ones. They're, they're just amazing. Um, love these boots. <laughs> See, I said, I'm going to say it. I, I love all of my, I love all of my, my footwear. Like, that's a thing that I think a lot of people, like, they're like, how do you like every single one of your boots? I'm like, well, like, I've made a lot of mistakes in my boot making journey. So I think as I've like, as I've like learned about my style and what I like to wear, like, obviously like this is a shirt that is pretty loud, but I still like wearing it. Like this shirt and like this linen sport coat, super good combo. Like I might wear that with like a, a more like toned down, like classic shoe just to, to help tie it all together. But anyway, we're talking about shoes this video. Moving on to the kudu section. We got these uh, Grant Stone Storm Kudu Diesel Boots. <laughs> love these boots, super versatile. I mean, I love the boots. They're super versatile. Goodyear welted leather soles. I, I mean, they're sweet. Kudu is an awesome leather. It's super soft. Um, yeah, really like, <laughs> you're gonna, again, I think every single one of these shoes, you're going to be like, love the boot, super versatile. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> uh, these are from Benzene in Indonesia. Uh, the, the side zip on the Kujang last, uh, lost last, the Kujang last, uh, which has a little bit of a tapered almond toe here. Uh, the, 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 the upper material on these actually is like, it's a d dragon's blood or dragoon's blood. I don't remember which one. Kudu from CF Stead. Um, I mean, all the Kudu that I have, everyone has is from CF Stead apparently, but that's because CF Stead is amazing. Um, uh, but what I like about this Kudu and I'll get the other, the other boot too, is that you can really tell that. The, the the kudu that that war or that i mean that this hide came from just like had a shitty life like it's covered in bug bites and scars and it's just a really beautiful leather so um benzene side zips in dragoon's blood kudu um super yeah. versatile love this boot moose mister thank you all right Back to Viberg. Uh, Viberg 2055 last mushroom chamois service boot. Did a whole video about this. Like my first ever shoe video was one of these boots. The freaking things are indestructible. We can wear them in the rain. You can wear them basically wherever. Um, and the chamois, I mean, chamois is one of those materials that's like, you can like douse it in water and it's just like, man, eh, fine. It, it's, it's indestructible. It's amazing. It smells delicious. I would, uh, I would eat soup made out of that leather. Another another returning uh, boot here, the Meerman Cherry Shinky Shell Cordovan Split Toes. I like split toes, what can I say? Um, super versatile, love this boot. I mean, it's a, it's a great boot, super comfortable now that it's broken in. Uh, nothing bad to really say about the shell. Nothing, ish, like no real issues with how it's, how it's wearing over time. Great boot, good job Meerman. Like these boots. All right, now we're going on to my, uh, my Chelsea boots. RM Williams Yearling Boot. Uh, one of the things that I love about the yearling boot in this case is that it comes with that Cuban heel and like I'm already six foot two, six foot three. I'm not small. Uh, so when I wear this boot, it like pops me up a little bit and I don't really own a lot of black footwear. Um, those Vibergs are one of them, but I really don't wear a lot of black just because uh, I don't feel like a black shoe, especially like it's hard to wear. So black boots, I feel like are a lot easier to wear, especially with really dark denim. Uh, and this is one of those, like if I'm wearing like a more tapered denim or if I'm wearing trousers even for work, like a tapered trouser, these are great, great, great if I feel like wearing a black shoe. So RM Williams, yearling leather, welted like most RM Williams that are worth the money. <laughs> um, yearling leather is cool because it comes from an older cow. It's not calfskin. So the way that it's wrinkled and shown age, these are over a year old now. They're just, they're awesome. I love these boots. Uh, all right. Cobbler Union Chelsea boots on the Louvre last, which I think is the, it's either the, no, it's the Ritz last, because the Ritz last is the boot version of the Louvre last. Anyway, a little bit of a soft square chisel situation going on, blind stitching on the, the, the welt and the sole, great Chelsea boot, I love this thing, um, in like a museum brown situation, uh, Moose is, he has no idea what he's doing, so he's bumping around doing Moose things, so if you hear him, uh, it's the, the nature of these, uh, these videos, I guess. Uh, another pair of RM Williams, the chinchilla boot, not named after the animal, named after the area in Australia. So this is not made out of chinchilla leather. It is crust leather that has been painted. Uh, one of the things that I like about this boot, and you can kind of see it at this angle, hopefully, 
uh, is that you can actually see some of the brush strokes left from the, the burnishing of the boot. It's, it's a beautiful shoe, really comfortable, absolutely love this. All right, the last Chelsea boot in my collection is the J. Fitzpatrick Alki boot on a really beautiful tapered chisel blast. Uh, done the, the hand patina by Greg Park at uh, Hancourt. I mean, look, it's amazing. I love this boot. Super comfortable. Super. <laughs> I, like, I am a broken record. Look, the boot's freaking sweet. There's nothing else to say about it. The boot is freaking sweet. Super comfortable. Very stylish. Um, J. Fitzpatrick Alki boot. All right. Here we have a pair of hole cut Carminas on the Simpson last, which is that really beautiful tapered chisel toe, little bit of a medallion there in a, um, it's like a plum museum. So it's a little bit purple, a little bit burgundy. These boots are awesome. You can wear them with tapered denim. You can wear them with not tapered denim, like more of a boot cut. Um, and it really, it, it elevates the outfit in a way that I think is really interesting because it has this half uh, like lug commando sole. You know, this is one of those, okay, this is why Carmina is like a boot making powerhouse boots because you look at the boots and you're like they're basically flawless uh the construction is amazing the leather is clicked phenomenally these boots are um mwah, i love these i love them they're super versatile <laughs> uh right alden indie boots you're not a boot guy unless you got a pair of indie boots finally i got these i don't know a couple months ago near my birthday time these are from the lefo left it lefo i don't know uh, collab in like a navy suede. I wore these for like 25 miles in New York City. Uh, the, the, these brick red soles are super comfortable. I had no problem with these boots at all. The amount of miles that I put on them. This is one of those Aldens that you're like, all right, I get it. Alden's pretty pretty sweet. Good job, Alden. So love these boots. <laughs> love these boots. <laughs> So I'm, I cracked myself up. Uh, monkey boots from Chini and another blue suede. Can wear these with all sorts of things. Denim, chinos if you feel like it, but really mostly denim. Nothing bad to say about them. Super comfortable. Uh, really casual, which is why I like them. Just I can throw them on and wear them to the grocery store, wear them just to walk distance. Uh, the more flex sole from Vibram or Vibram or whatever is. My pronunciation is all over the place all the time. But anyway, boots are sweet. Love them. Cool boots. Good job, Chini. Look, if you've never heard of Chini, go to Chini website. Just Google Chini, C-H-E-A-N-Y, C-H-E-A-N-E-Y, C-H-E-A-N-E-Y boots or whatever. And then go, go. They're super affordable, really high quality, amazing boots. Suede chocolate boots from Winson. These are stitched down, but it's like an elegant stitch down. It's like elegantly chunky. I really love the five eyelets on this chocolate boot. Most chocolate boots that I see are just kind of stupid looking. These are not stupid looking to me. Um... I really love how long and like elegant this this boot is. The suede is like it's buttery soft. Uh, it's very. Oh, oh wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> I've never like obviously I've never rubbed suede in my beard, but I like. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm doing after this video. Uh, Winston, Winston boots, Winston chugga boots, and oh my god, those are my boots. Those are all my boots. Uh, all right, boom, bop, bing, off to shoes. Monk straps, single monk strap from Alden. This is an Alden XJ crew on the Plaza Last. Love the Plaza Last. Super versatile. Love this shoe. Uh, again, this I can wear this with shorts. I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it with chinos. I don't know if I'd ever wear these with a suit. I have other shoes that I'd prefer to wear a suit. Solid shoe. Uh, this is one of those other like, all right, Alden. All right, Alden. I get it. <laughs> all right, Costas, if you're watching this, these are... um. Super narrow beveled waist from Carlos Santos Blake Premium Shoes. Uh, they're very purple. There's not a whole lot to say about them. They're, they're sexy, they're purple, and they're really sexy, and they're really purple. And these are not versatile at all. So, oh boy. <laughs> okay, returning Cognac, Shell Cordovan from Mirman. Hmm. I like, yeah, yeah. You've seen them so many times, you know how I feel about them. Navy suede loafers from Carmina, blind stitch, Goodyear welt. I mean, it's a classic penny loafer. This is on the rain last. So I guess to compare uh, the rain last and the Simpson last, this is not working at all, is it? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, this is stupid. Uh, the Simpson last is, is a little bit more narrow. It's a little bit more tapered. It's definitely sharper. The rain last is by no means round. 
um, but it is certainly less like chiseled and sharp and defined compared to the Simpson last. So solid, solid loafers. I love them. Allen Edmonds Cornwallis is um, nothing, nothing big to say about these. I got these as factory seconds. They're probably two years old now. Solid, solid, serviceable shoes. I think I might patina these just for fun. Allen Edmonds Cornwallis. That's it. There's really nothing to say about these. These, however, the Allen Edmonds Strandmock. These were my first ever big boy shoe. I bought these myself at full price at Von Mar. I mean, the only reason I'm really, really into this hobby is one, because of the COVID lockdown, and two, because of these shoes. Um, this was my step up from like the Johnston and Murphy mall brand stuff. And these were the shoes that ruined me. So Allen Edmonds, um, a very courteous, big thank you, but also a F you because this, this hobby is expensive. It's really expensive. Strandmox, Allen Edmonds, Red Day Night Souls, Boom, Beth Bam, Cobbler Union, Adelaide, Oxfords. I actually did the toe burnishing on these myself. Blind stitch here. I love the lines on this shoe. I love the tasteful broguing. This is an elegant shoe. It's super versatile. It's very comfortable. One of the things that I like about Cobbler Union shoes is the quilted heel cup that adds like an extra level of ooh <laughs> to the shoe. So I think because of that, um, these, these shoes, in my opinion, Cobbler Union and TLB Mallorca, but Cobbler Union especially is one of those brands that they punch way above their price tag just by adding in all of these little details that make you feel, they make you feel good. Um, similar shoe, this is a whole cut on the same last. It's the Ritz or the Lou Blast, I don't remember. Details are very similar. It's also Cobbler Union, Cobbler Union, uh, in a mustard calf. It's a whole cut shoe, I love it. Uh, it's, it's honestly, it's not that versatile compared to some of my other shoes. It's a great summer shoe, which is why I like it in like early fall. Great with jeans. Um, even better with like certain suits, certain sport coat combinations. Like I've actually worn this shoe with, well, this, this light blue sport coat I've worn it with because this is like a line, linen lightweight situation. This raspberry sport coat I've worn it with. Uh, and there's some texture in here, which I like. And then also this like teal sport coat. All of these are more summery sport coats. Uh, oh, and this, this hop sack it would look good with. This is like a navy hop sack, so... Cobble Union Mustard Calf. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, these are Foster and Sons. The shoes are flawless. Everything about this shoe is like... I mean, even the, the way that it retains the Mershon, the quality of the leather, the, the, the construction of the shoe, the consistency of the stitches, how everything just falls into place. Like, you look at the shoe and, like... The shoe is, for all intents and purposes, it's a flawlessly executed shoe. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. It is amazing. It's it's just amazing. I love this shoe. It's super cool. Uh, there was th there have been nobody in my life, like the the, the, po the point of the shoe is no one looks at this shoe and goes, "That's a nice shoe." Everyone looks at it and goes, eh, "That's a shoe." But for the people who know, they might look and go, "Hey, where's that shoe from?" Because the way that the leather is creasing on the vamp. Like, it's all of the little things that have gone into this shoe that you look at it and you're like, like, an artisan made this. Like, somebody who was clicking and cutting the leather knew exactly how to click it and cut it to get these really tight, elegant creases along the vamp. I mean... <sighs> a mwah. There, it gets the mwah seal of approval. The shoe's freaking sweet. Um, am I still recording? I should check. Heck yeah, I am. All right, um, Carlos Santos, Adelaide, Oxfords. I've, I've, I've had these on the channel before. Um, cool shoe, not totally black, so it makes them a little bit more versatile, easy to wear. I love the shape of the toe. The shoes are elegant. The shoes are really sophisticated. I love the broguing. I love the pinking along the leather. Nothing bad to say about this shoe. Carlos Santos is one of those brands that if you're like, I don't really want to spend a lot of money on a shoe, check out Carlos Santos, especially at the Noble Shoe. My friend Kostas runs it. He's a great guy. Um, tight waist. The shoes are great. All right. I think this is the last cop. No, it's not the last cobbler union in my collection. This is the second to last cobbler union in my collection. This is the Robert or the Richard Balmoral Oxford. So this is a true Balmoral when you can tell because the, the, the pattern piece 
that encapsulates the lacing channel over here is one long piece that extends all the way to the heel. Um, a, an Oxford, to compare it, <clears throat> the, the, the pattern piece kind of has this little swoop D down, whereas a Balmoral is like that straight, straight back situation. So, um, oh, me, me too, Moose, I agree. Uh, yeah, it's a Balmoral Oxford and like a Museum Oxblood. I will say that I wish the leather was clicked a little bit differently. Um, here's a better example. If you can just see the creases on this shoe aren't great. But, I mean, it's leather. I don't care. I wear the shoe no matter what. Um, I wore these for a job interview last week, actually. And I think, uh, well, I got the job. So <laughs> I got the job. Um, the shoes are, they're still elegant. They're really beautiful. I love that they're black presenting at nighttime. So if I need a black cap toe Oxford, um, I'll wear these because, you know, in the dark, it's, it looks like a black shoe. All right. Got this cool pair of Emilio Franco side laces. I know I've spoken about these before. They're Blake stitched. Love these shoes. I can wear them with jeans. I can wear them with chinos. I can wear them with a suit. Uh, super elegant. Really elongated toe. Pretty comfortable. Lightweight, which is what I like about it. Great for the summertime. That is from Emilio Franco. All right. Grant Stone Ivory suede bluchers plain toe bluecher so this lacing channel over here being one separate piece uh, makes it a bluecher if it was a derby it would be extending all the way from the heel plain toe on the leo last you know exactly what i'm going to say about these shoes but the ivory suede makes them a little bit like oh is that is that suede and you're like mm -hmm. and they're like oh okay well mr look at you smell you you stupid pretentious asshole um anyway grant stone I got these shoes as seconds. I don't know why they're factory seconds. I can't see anything wrong with them. Shoes are awesome. I love these guys. Grant Stone. Go Grant Stone. That's their, uh, that's their new motto, actually. Uh, they, they, they contact me and they're like, hey, hey, Harrison, we need a new thing. They're like, all right, Grant Stone. What about, what about go Grant Stone? And they're like, Phew. all right. So that's, that's how that went. Uh, <laughs> these are from Santoni. They're a, they're a Blake Rapid stitched. So that means the midsole is stitched to the outsole and then this is stitched into the footbed. Not, not too complicated. Shoes are freaking awesome. They're very Italian. There's a lot of really cool handiwork that went into them. Got a rubber uh, like plate, or not a rubber plate, but like a, to a toffee that went on just because the, the sole was running out. Um, they're very Italian. I wear these shoes if I feel like um, eating the meatball. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Uh, another custom pair from TLB Mallorca. Uh, am I still recording? Yeah, I am. All right. Uh, it's a little short wing cap toe. Uh, love this derby pattern because it's very elongated. Three eyelets help make it very sharp, very elegant, very rawr, dangerous. Um, burgundy suede. Love these shoes. I took them to New York City. Ate Korean barbecue in them. Still kind of smell like Korean barbecue, which is pretty cool. Um, Lasted shoe trees are a nice touch. Double midsole. Elegantly chunky. That's what I go for. Because, uh, me, personally, I am elegantly chunky. All right. Pair of Vibergs here. Viberg split horse butt. What's super cool about this is that they take the horse butt and they split it. Um, and you get this really, really unique textured suede material. And then you get this, like, smooth, almost plasticky looking material that's a little bit like shell. So it's not exactly shell cordovan, it's a split horse butt, but it rolls like shell does. <laughs> Super cool boots, boots. Super cool shoes, very comfortable, very versatile. Uh, no, Nothing like this in my collection, um, but but pretty casual, I'd say, just because the, the, the buy material and the nature of the actual shoe, it's super easy to wear with a ton of things. So Viberg knocked it out of the park with that one. This is a pair of sneakers from uh, Archibald London. They're sneakers. That's it. I, I don't really have a whole lot to say about them besides the fact that they're sneakers. Um, it's Cap Toe Four Eyelet Derby from Taft. They are Blake stitched. The upper is lined with leather, but it is uh, like a green wool. Love these. They're versatile. And uh, they're lightweight and they're comfortable. They're good travel shoes. Good job on these ones, Taft. Ugh. Two eyelet derby from Cobbler Union on the same last as all my other shoes, uh, except for the uh, the Balmorals. Not a whole lot to say about these besides the fact that they're freaking awesome. Uh, they're very Parisian, so I drink my uh, 
I don't know, my my cappuccino and and my baguette and I eat my cheese. <laughs> this is these are my cheese eating shoes. That's it's my story and I'm sticking to it. And then this is a pair of back lace up shoes, boots, schboots from Sartelier. Uh, in Mexico City. Uh, check them out on Instagram. They're really cool. Uh, 360 degree Goodyear welted. I actually painted these myself. So they came in like a natural veg tan that just kind of looked like old man scrotum. Um, and I painted them myself. That's the color that I use to describe natural leather. Imagine an old man scrotum. And that's it. Um, so I painted them myself and I think they turned out pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's my shoe collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was entertaining. Uh, I hope you can look at me in the closet and think of a very original joke. Um, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great Sunday. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Have a great rest of your summer. I don't know. Um, that's it. Boom. That's how I'm going to snap. That's how I'm going to end my videos from now on.